ಶಿವಸ್ಮಾರಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯಮುಚ್ಚಾಚಾರ್ಯಪರ್ಯಂತಾ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರಾಂ ಶ್ರುತಿ ಸ್ಮೃತಿಪುರಾಣ ನಾಮ ಆಲಿಂ ಕರುಣಾಲಿ ನಮಾಮಿ ಭಗತ್ಪಾಲಂ ಶಂಕರ ಲೋಕಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೇಶವಂಬಾದರಾಯಣ ಸೂತ್ರಭಾಷ್ಯಕೃತ ವಂದೇ ಭಗವಂತ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಈಶ್ವರೋ ಗುರುರಾತ್ಮೀತಿ ಮೂರ್ತಿ ಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿ ವ್ಯೋಮವದ್ಯಾಪ್ತಿ ದೇಹಾಯ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀಮೂರ್ತೆ ನಮಃ ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೌಘನಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂ ಕರವಾಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿ ನಾವಜೀ ಸಮಸ್ತಮಾಶಾಭೈ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಾಂತಿ ಓಂ ಯೋ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾಣು ವಿಧಾತಿ ಪೂರ್ವ ವೇದಾಗುಶ್ಚ ಪ್ರಹಿಣೋತಿ ತಸ್ಮೈ ತಗುಂ ಹೃದಯಮಾತ್ಮೋದ್ಯ ಪ್ರಕಾಶ ಮುಕ್ಷುರು ವೈ ಶರಣಮಹಂ ಪ್ರಪದ್ಯೆ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಾಂತಿ ಆಮ್ನಯಾಂತಿಕ ಸಂಸಿದ್ಧ ಆದಿ ಮಧ್ಯಾಂತ ವರ್ಜಿತ ಆನಂದಹನುಮಾಪೂರ್ಣಮಾತ್ಮಜ್ಯೋತಿರುಪಾಸ್ಮಹೆ ಸೂತ್ರ ಸದೀಕರಣ ದೃಷ್ಟಾಂತ ವೈಷಮ್ಯ ಶಂಕತೆ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಸೆಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಬೈ ದಿ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತಿ ಬೈ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಅ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಅನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೂರ್ಯ ಸೂರ್ಯಕಾದಿ ವತ್ ದಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ದಿ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಗಿವಿನ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಏಟೀನ್ ಸೂತ್ರ ಅತ ಎ ಚೋಪಮಾ ಸೂರ್ಯಕಾದಿ ವತ್ ಟು ದಟ್ ಪೂರ್ವ ಪಕ್ಷಿ ಇಸ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹೀಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದೃಷ್ಟಾಂತ ವೈಷಮ್ಯ ಶಂಕತೆ doubt is raised as to what the drishtanta is not fitting the example given is not fitting here there is a vaishamya the uh, sutra there is ambuvat agrahanatu na tathatvam ambuvat agrahanatu na tathatvam this is a pura paksha sutra ambuvat agrahanatu na tathatvam so what has been said uh, as ಜಿ ನಿರ್ಗುಣ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ನಿರ್ವಿಶೇಷ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಎಪಿಯರ್ಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಸವಿಶೇಷ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ಉಪಾಧೀಸ್ ವಾಸ್ತವಿಕ ನಿರ್ಗುಣತ್ವ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ಅವೇ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರತೀತಿ ಮಾತ್ರ ಆಫ್ ಸಗುಣ ಸವಿಶೇಷ ಹೌ ಲೈಕ್ ಸೂರ್ಯ ಪ್ರತಿಬಿಂಬ ಈಸ್ ಸವಿಶೇಷ comparable to savishesha whereas surya bimba has absolutely no change at all the reflections have variety and multiplicity all the visheshas gunas dharmas which can be seen in the reflection of the surya they are all due to upadis of various water bodies so towards this ambuvat ಅಗ್ರಹಣಾತ್ ಪೂರ್ವ ಪಕ್ಷಿ ಸೇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ದಿ ಸೂರ್ಯ ಈಸ್ ರಿಫ್ಲೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಅಂಬು ಜಲ ವಾಟರ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ವೇರಿಯಸ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಬಾಡೀಸ್ ದಿ ಸೂರ್ಯ ಪ್ರತಿಬಿಂಬ ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಬಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅಂಬು ಜಲ ದಟ್ ಯು ಸೀ ದಿ ಉಪಾಧಿ ಈಸ್ ಸೀನ್ ಅಂಬುವತ್ ಅಗ್ರಹಣಾತ್ is in the example there is grahana jala is seen as separate from surya surya bhinna ambuvat in the example that you gave jala ambu is seen different from the surya why because it is quite uh, placed at quite a distance surya is seen separately as uh, asavaditya in the akasha and jala the water bodies are here in this loka here on prithvi you see separately clearly pratyaksha it is there uh, mean there is a great distance even without science you see a great distance between surya in the akasha and the jala the water bodies on prithvi so there why surya bhinna ambu grahana is there in the example in the exemplified do ಉದಾಹೃತ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಸಚ್ ಡಿಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಸಚ್ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ವೇರ್ ಬೈ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸೆಪರೇಟ್ ಔಟ್ ದಿ ಉಪಾಧಿ ಅಂತಃಕರಣ ಇತ್ಯಾದಿ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮ ಆತ್ಮ 
that kind of a facility is not there that kind of uh, example being extended to the exemplified is not possible in this case because in the example ambuvat grahana which is there that is not there in exemplified ambuvat agrahana is there so surya bhinna ambuvat atma bhinnasya agrahana that is the meaning ambuvat atma bhinna bhinnasya kasya api agrahana upadhi upadehe upadhi is not seen as separate from atma such as the jala water bodies are seen separate from surya such a great distance makes it possible for a difference being seen whereas in the exemplified such difference cannot be seen you cannot see sharira separated out uh, antakarana separated out from atma therefore what ambuvad agrahana tu na tathatvam na tathatvam means surya suryadi vat which has been claimed in the 18th sutra by the siddhanti puro pakshi says tathatvam nasti suryadi vatvam nasti tyartha there is no possibility of nirvishesha brahma being shown in the exemplified just like surya shown as separate from the reflection so you cannot show this nirgunatva at all by using this suryadi upama this is the sutra artha the vritti is very short it says yatha ambu suryat murtat bhinnam durastam murtam grihyate surya is surya murti is seen so murta padartha surya and ambu is also murta padartha ambu can be seen here so yatha ambu jala suryat which is surya which is murta meaning some kind of a uh, we can take just simple meaning as to not the tarkikas murta we can just say simple murti or the form of surya can be seen from a distance water body also has some form all the water bodies have some form which can be seen therefore suryat murtat bhinnam murta suryat bhinnam durastam which is very far separated by a great distance murtam ambu grihyate the ambu is seen as what it is also murta and it is seen at a great distance from surya tadvat similarly amurta sarvatmakad atmanah bhinn durast upadehe agrahanat dissimilar to that dissimilar to the example which has been used by siddhanti this amurta sarvatmaka atma is there atma is what atma is parabrahma which is atma of everyone sarvatma that sarvatma brahma is amurta does not have any murti does not have any manifest form which can be said as this is what is seen by my indriya or any indriya not necessarily only chakshur indriya by any indriya i cannot objectify parabrahma therefore parabrahma being amurta i cannot see that parabrahma separately atma separately from anything any upadhi so bhinna bhinna durastha upadehe agrahana this sharira antakarana which is very close not removed far you know it is not separated by great distance it is very close to each and every atma every jeeva has his antakarana close to himself it is very difficult to separate out and objectify just like any upadhi of water body is objectifiable at a great distance from surya therefore your example and exemplified have a lot of difference you cannot use that as an example says the puro pakshi tadvat amurta sarvatmakad atmanah bhinna and durastha upadi cannot be seen upadi agrahanat na tathatva mini na सूर्य तुल्यत्व इति शंकार था
therefore this parabrahma is not like surya in your example atra uttaram siddhanti gives an answer to that kind of a doubt an objection is vruddhi hrasa bhaktvam antar bhavad uvay samanjasya devam vruddhi hrasa bhaktvam antar bhavad uvay samanjasya devam vruddhi hrasa bhaktvam antar bhavat ubhaya samanjasyat evam this is the padachcheda vruddhi is growth hrasa meaning uh, increase in size hrasa is di- diminution in diminution in size meaning declining size opposing dharmas so form or a shape is growing that is vruddhi form or shape is reducing is hrasa and bhak is partaking of that meaning partaking of growth or diminution antar bhavat upadi antar bhavat it is this vriddhi partaking vriddhi and hrasa is what it is part of upadi the antakarana can be growing or reducing in size meaning the antakarana dharmas are like that sharira stool sharira is literally growing or reducing because of what because the shadvikaras uh, uh, are there six vikaras are there therefore the stool sharira has vriddhi hras hrasa bhaktum सूक्ष्म शरीर ऑल्सो बुद्धि यू कैन से बुद्धि इंटेलेक्ट इज ग्रोइंग इट इज रिड्यूसिंग मेमोरी इज ग्रोइंग इट इज रिड्यूसिंग ऑल दिस इज पॉसिबल फॉर दी उपाधि सूक्ष्म शरीर स्थूल शरीर हंगर इज ग्रोइंग इट इज रिड्यूसिंग ऑल दीज आर धर्माज विच आर ऑफ दी शरीर सो वृद्धि ह्रास भाग तुम उपाधे अंतर्भाव उपाधौ अंतर्भाव उपाध्य अंतर्भाव उपाधौ अंतर्भाव इट इज part of upadi both the vriddhi and hrasa bhaktum both dharmas seen separately or any opposing dharmas it is an upalakshana for any opposing dharmas all these are part of what they are part of upadi upadhu antarbhavat therefore what ubhaya samajyasya ubhaya samajyasya means evam in this manner in the drishtanta and darshtantika there is samanjasya samanjasya means there is similarity so what is the example and what is the exemplified what is the comparison being made that should be the focus area in the drishtanta darshtantika bhava in the example and the exemplified when something is shown which aspect is comparable that should be understood which aspect is not compared there you should not object this is the siddhanti stake he says that you are objecting to that part which is not what i am comparing at all what i am comparing what i am presenting as a comparison there you focus you will see samanjasya ubhay samanjasya both have similarity drishtanta and darshtantika so ubhay samanjasya evam evam tathatvam tathatvam in this manner this tathatvam suryadi upama is valid to show how pratibimba is changing due to upadi that also appears to change due to upadi whereas the bimba has absolutely no connection at all with the upadi let alone the upadi dharmas this is the uh, reply to the objection by the puro pakshi reply to his doubt answering his doubt and thereby establishing that there is validity in the comparison between the example of suryadi with the pratibimba changes due to upadhi which make savishesha possible as a pratiti justifying the pratiti uh, justifying the savishesha vakyas in shruti but nirvishesha brahma is not counted in fact we have shown in the earlier sutra says the siddhanti that savishesha vakyas are for the purpose of nirvishesha 
दे आर अ मैकेनिज्म मेथोडोलॉजी अ द्वारा थ्रू विच यू लैंड ऑन निर्विशेष ऑफ ब्रह्म निर्विशेषत्व ऑफ ब्रह्म सो दैट इज सूत्रार्थ मीनिंग वृद्धि ह्रास भाक्तत्व सॉरी वृद्धि ह्रास भाक्तत्व न वास्तव इट इज नॉट ट्रूली सो इट इज नॉट तत्व इट इज नॉट तात्पर्य विषय वाय उपाध अंतर्भावात एंड देर बाय दृष्टांत दार्ष्टांतिक उभय सामंजस्यम दैट बिकम्स हेतु तस्मात एवं एवं दृष्टांत इन दिस मैनर इज द दृष्टांत और तथात्व दिवृत्ति से यथा सूर्य प्रतिबिंब से जलांतर्भूत से जलगत्त वृद्धि ह्रास भाक्व न वास्तव सो दिस न वृद्धि ह्रास भाक्व न वास्तव हाउ डू गेट दिस इज न कैन बी ब्रॉट फ्रॉम दि अर्लियर सूत्र दिस न सो इट हेज अनुवृत्ति हियर इट इज नॉट रियल न वास्तव नास्ति वृद्धि ह्रास भाक्व उपाधे अस्ति न तो ब्रह्मण सो ब्रह्मण वेन यू से वृद्धि ह्रास भाक्व वेन यू रीड इथ ब्रह्म देर यू हेव टू हेड न वेर एज विथ उपाधि इट इज देर वृद्धि ह्रास भाक्व इज देर विथ उपाधि बट इट इज नॉट देर फॉर ब्रह्म सो वॉट इज दी टू देर और वॉट इज सेड यथा इन दि दृष्टांत वॉट हेज बीन शोन सूर्य प्रतिबिंब से जलांतर्भूत से जलगत वृद्धि ह्रास भाक्व न वास्तव इन दि प्रतिबिंब ऑलसो सूर्य एपियरिंग इलांगेटेड और शॉर्ट एंड कॉम्प्रेस्ड चेंजिंग शेप ऑल दिस इज वॉट इट इज सीन इन दि वॉटर ऑल राइट बट इट इज नॉट ट्रू दि प्रतिबिंब इज एक्चुअली नॉट डिफरेंट फ्रॉम बिंब दि रिफ्लेक्टेड इज नॉट डिफरेंट फ्रॉम दि ओरिजिनल so when you are looking at a mirror if the shape appears to be changing due to the mirror being convex or concave that doesn't change the reality of the bimba your face does not change due to that and nor does the reflection have such properties at all because the reflection cannot be different from the original your face cannot be looking elongated प्रतिबिंब एक्चुअली हैविंग सच फी फीचर्स बिकॉज इट इज नॉट डिफरेंट फ्रॉम युअर फेस इट इज नॉट रियली डिफरेंट फ्रॉम युअर फेस इट हेज नो प्रेजेंस अदर देन युअर फेस दि सत्ता ऑफ दि प्रतिबिंब इज दि सत्ता ऑफ दि बिंब एवरी फीचर एंड कैरेक्टरिस्टिक दैट यू सी इन दि प्रतिबिंब हेज टू बी दि फीचर ऑफ दि बिंब इफ इट इज एनी थिंग अदर देन दैट देन इट इज ड्यू टू दि उपाधि फीचर द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ द मिरर नॉट द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ द ओरिजिनल नॉट द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ द रिफ्लेक्शन ऑल्सो रियली सो जलगत वृद्धि ह्रास भाक्व न वास्तव कस जलांतर्भूत से सूर्य प्रतिबिंब से इवन दि रिफ्लेक्शन डज नॉट एक्चुअली कैरी सच कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ बींग लॉन्ग एक्सेट्रा वाई बिकॉज एज सून इफ द रिफ्लेक्शन हैड रियली हैड सच elongated or suppressed characteristics shape and size then when the water becomes still then the reflection wouldn't change it would retain that elongated look or compressed look why does it become golakara why does it become very similar to the shape and uh, not the size but somewhat of the apparent size from this great distance of that surya because that is what the pratibimba is pratibimba is in keeping with the bimba it is not changing anything it cannot change its size and shape etc as per the reflection of course scientifically whatever can appear with this great distance it is not exactly the size of the surya obviously but at this great distance what can appear as a reflection considering that whatever size is there and shape is of the surya itself that is retained in the pratibimba however if it is changing it is due to the dharmas of the upadhi the water flickering the pratibimba appears to change pratibimba is not changing at all it is mere appearance therefore 
एवं इन सिमिलर मैनर निर्विशेष से परमात्मन देहादि उपाद्यंतर भाव देह इत्यादि देह अंतकरण स्थूल देह सूक्ष्म देह इत्यादि इन दैट उपाधि दोज बिकम दि उपाधि तस्मिन अंतर भावात और तेशु अंतर भावात देहादि गत वृद्धि हरास भाक्तम न स्वाभाविकम अगेन न विल गो विद दी दार्शनिक आल्सो एग्जेम्प्लिफाइड आल्सो परमात्मा विच इज निर्विशेष कैनॉट हैव एनी वृद्धि हरास भाक्त इट कैनॉट ग्रो विद दी शरीर इट कैनॉट रिड्यूस विद दी पर्सन बिकमिंग ओल्ड आत्मा कैनॉट बिकम ओल्ड आत्मा कैनॉट अंडरगो एनी चेंजेस बेस्ड ऑन दी स्थूल शरीर अंडरगोइंग चेंजेस बिकमिंग फैट और स्लिम और इंटेलेक्ट बिकमिंग शार्प और डल मेमोरी बिकमिंग स्ट्रॉगर और वीकेंड नन ऑफ दिस अफेक्ट्स द आत्मा सो देहादिगत वृद्धि ह्रास भाक्त वृद्धि ह्रास इज जस्ट जस्ट एन उपलक्षण फॉर एवरी अदर कैरेक्टरिस्टिक न स्वाभाविकम इट इज नॉट नैचुरल इट इज नॉट रियल वता अंशेन उभयो दृष्टांत दार्ष्टांतिको सामंजस्यावती सूर्यादि दृष्टांत दिस सूर्यादि दृष्टांत इज नॉट इन इनवैलिड एट ऑल एज ऑब्जेक्टेड बाय दि पूर्व पक्षी वाई बिकॉज देर इज सिमिलरिटी ड्यू टू सिमिलरिटी सामंजस्या बिटवीन वॉट बिटवीन एक्सापल एंड एक्सापलिफाइड दृष्टांत एंड दार्ष्टांतिक दृष्टांत दार्ष्टांतिको सामंजस्या हौ इतावता अंशेन उभयो बिटवीन दी बिटवीन बोथ दी एक्सापल एंड दी एक्सापलिफाइड एक्सापलिफाइड वॉट इज द कॉमन फैक्टर विच इज बींग कंपेर्ड एतावता अंश ओनली ओनली दिस मच पार्ट नथिंग मोर देन दैट नथिंग मोर इज इंटेंडेड नथिंग मोर कैन बी कंपेर्ड अदरवाइज इफ यू स्टार्ट कंपेरिंग ईच एंड एवरी एस्पेक्ट समथिंग ऑर दी अदर हेज टू बी डिफरेंट बिटवीन दी एक्सापल एंड दी एक्सापलिफाइड वाई Otherwise, example is not possible. Both are same. You cannot compare one thing with itself. There has to be a difference. Elsewhere, Bhagwan Bhaskara says that he, he says, "What is the what is the lakshana of uh, udharana?" He says that where something in one aspect is common, thereby the example and exemplified become compared, and then you extend it to. the exemplified that is an example you cannot have everything common if everything is same then how do you differentiate then surya and atma cannot be differentiated at all the water and the uh, the sharira cannot be differentiated at all because there will be differences in each and every aspect of the upadhi in surya and atma also there will be difference in each and every aspect however how the reflection is formed and how that reflection is not affected by the characteristics of the upadhi in the example and also in the exemplified that is comparable only that aspect nothing else if everything is comparable then there is no difference between the example and the exemplified and there cannot be an example also because it is the same you cannot compare anything with itself that is not an example cannot say that you know uh, i am great why what is the example so this is because i am great just like i am great i am great that cannot be you know it is a very stupid statement to make you have to show because such a thing has been done like some something has been done by a great person therefore something can be claimed like that this is an example as to what is really the meaning of drishtanta nahi drishtanta darshtantika yo sarvamshina there is a typo here it is not sarvamshina sarvamshina there should be aakara here not okara nahi drishtanta darshtantika yo sarvamshina samatvam shakyate shakrena api vaktum Siddhanti says that in each and every aspect, each and every ausha, you cannot say samatva is there between the drishtanta and darshtanta. Who cannot say? He says that it cannot be stated even by even by shakra. Shakra is indra. 
ఇంద్ర దేవత హూ ఈస్ ది దేవత ఆఫ్ దేవతాస్ ఈవెన్ బై ఇంద్ర సచ్ అ స్టేట్మెంట్ కెన్ నాట్ బి మేడ్ యాజ్ టు ఇన్ ఈచ్ అండ్ ఎవ్రీ అంశ దృష్టాంత అండ్ దార్ష్టాంతిక షుడ్ బి సేమ్ సమత్వం న శక్యతే వక్తు చక్రేణ అపి వై తత్వే తత్వే మీనింగ్ సమత్వే ఇఫ్ ఎట్ ఆల్ సచ్ అ థింగ్ హ్యాపెన్స్ యాజ్ టు వి అగ్రీ దృష్టాంత అండ్ దార్ష్టాంతిక ఇస్ సేమ్ ఇన్ ఈచ్ అండ్ ఎవ్రీ ఎక్స్పెక్ట్ దెన్ తద్ ఉచ్ఛేదాద్ ఇది భావ తద్ ఉచ్ఛేదాద్ మీన్స్ దృష్టాంత ఉచ్ఛేదాద్ దృష్టాంత ఇట్ సెల్ఫ్ ఇస్ నాట్ గోయింగ్ టు బి పాసిబుల్ బికాస్ బోత్ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు బి సేమ్ దెన్ సో దృష్టాంత దార్ష్టాంతిక భావ ఉచ్ఛేదాద్ ఇత్యర్థ దృష్టాంత అండ్ దార్ష్టాంతిక భావ విల్ బి అప్రూటెడ్ బై దాట్ because drishtanta is equal to darshtantik or not since each and every aspect is same you cannot see any differentiation differentiating factor between the two therefore both are not only similar they are same if they are same then you cannot have drishtanta darshtantik bhava that will go away iti bhava ha so as soon as we say that there is an example there has to be some difference or the other that is the vritti for 20th kincha ఆగమ ఏక సమధి గమ్యర్థే న పునర్ న పర్యనియోగ ఇత్యా సిద్ధాంతి సేస్ ఫర్దర్ వాట్ ఆగమ ఏక సమధి గమ్యే అర్థే ఇన్ దాట్ అర్థ విచ్ ఈస్ సమధి గమ్య విచ్ క్యాన్ బి నోన్ వెరీ వెల్ ఓన్లీ త్రూ వాట్ ఆగమ శృతి సో దాట్ ఫార్ విచ్ శృతి ఇస్ ది ఓన్లీ ప్రమాణ పరబ్రహ్మతత్వ దేర్ న పర్యనియోగ పర్యనియోగ మీన్స్ ఆక్షేప ఆక్షేప న కర్తవ్యత్యర్థ యూ కెనాట్ ఆబ్జెక్ట్ యూ షుడ్ నాట్ ఆబ్జెక్ట్ సేజ్ సిద్ధాంతి దుడి పూర్వపక్షి యాజ్ టు వాట్ శృతి ఈస్ సేయింగ్ అండ్ ఓన్లీ శృతి కెన్ సే దాట్ వాట్ ఎవర్ ఈస్ బీయింగ్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్డ్ ఇన్ ది శృతి దిస్ పరమాత్మ you cannot say that paramatma is not easily accessible sharira is not easily accessible not accessible at a great distance from this paramatma this paramatma atma can be known only through shruti as to what it really is so there you should not object as to oh what shruti is saying is not right shruti is showing paramatma as in swarupa nirvishesha to that some example has been used shruti itself uses that example there you cannot object as to why shruti use that example why because what is inaccessible to any indriya any pramana other than shabda pramana shruti pramana the example is also valid only due to shruti expressing so nothing else can come closer shruti has to use something or the other to help the jeeva sadaka land on the meaning which is the tatpare vishaya which cannot be accessed accessed by any other pramana in that case the your ob- objection based on anything else is not valid based on anything is not valid you cannot use pratyaksha you cannot use anumana you cannot use anything else you cannot say upamana is not right why shabda pramana shabda is using upamana that upamana is also shabda therefore indra also cannot object let alone you the purva pakshi says the siddhanti thereby kincha agama eka samadhi gamye only agama is the pramana for which artha that artha being parabrahma na paryanyogaha akshepaha na kartavya ityaha darshanat cha darshanat cha darshanat so and also due to darshana also due to shruti vakya what kind of shruti vakya we'll see that in the vritti parasya brahmano dehantara anupraveshasya pratibimba bhava roopasya puras chakre dvipada puras chakre chatushpada puras sapakshi bhutva puras purusha avishat ityadi shrutau darshanat we see such statements in the shruti this is also anupravesha shruti when you say anupravesha ishwara parmatma entered the sharira of jeeva as what as jeeva sharira of the jeeva sharire 
he entered the sharira as shariri jiva what is the meaning there we have seen multiple times that the bhuta bhautika shrishti has taken place from paramatma so if it has taken place from paramatma karya inseparable from karana the sharira when it is created when pancha mahabhutas were created parabrahma appeared as akasha after akasha manifestation then in the form of akasha became the karana paramatma himself for vayu and so on so when in when paramatma is pervading all the mahabhutas and thereby through mahabhutas into bhautikas sharira antakarana all this being paramatma karya paramatma himself is manifesting as the sharira then where is the pravesha needed why is shruti talking about anupravesha so there we have seen that the anupravesha is basically pratibimba having been associated with this kind of an antakarana which is also bhautika which is also bhuta karya this parmatma starts reflecting in it that reflection is called as anupravesha entered in the sharira where the sharira itself is non different from parmatma being karya nama roopa is mithya so in that form as sharira as antakarana it is all mithya but non different from parmatma when you see then this parmatma need not enter as seen as different from parmatma as sharira as antakarana this parmatma enters as pratibimba that is anupravesha and that entering as pratibimba mean reflecting in the antakarana there is a separation bond which is pratibimba is different from me therefore jiva bhava that is shariri और शारीर जीव शारीरक और शारीर और शरीरी दैट इज दिस जीव हु बिकम्स संसारी एज दो सो नाउ सिमिलर श्रुति इज देयर पर ब्रह्मण देहांतर अनुप्रवेश वेन इट एंटर्स अनदर देह पर ब्रह्म दैट अनुप्रवेश इज वॉट अनुप्रवेश प्रतिबिंब भाव रूप से इट हेज अटेन्ड the status of being a reflection and thereby samsari jiva is the misunderstanding purash chakre dvipadah purash chakre chatushpadah bhagwan himself created this pura multiple you know pura can be taken as a city also some kind of a form so created what kind of form dvipadah having two feet then purash chakre chatushpada also having four feet so dipada are human beings and chatushpada all the animals which have four feet dipada can also be you know birds which have two feet but then generally dipada means human beings or you can take all sorts these are upalakshana for all sorts of feet you know if there are eight feet also that is considered six feet also you consider that so it is a upalakshana further what pakshi has been separated so dipada need not be seen as pakshi bird is separated out so purasa pakshi because how do you identify a bird not by its feet by its two wings therefore pakshi bhutva having become pakshi but here pakshi does not mean a bird there so you go back and reinterpret the dipada as what can include anything or upalakshana for pakshi also so so many possibilities are there here what is the pakshi meaning pakshi bhutva puraha sa pakshi bhutva because he himself become became pakshi this dipada chakre meaning he created that dipada and chatushpada paramatma created however he became pakshi meaning what here it means the linga sharira van he became a pratibimba ityartha pakshi meaning he flew into the antakarana that is the anupravesha as a pratibimba and thereby attain jiva bhava as do pakshi bhutva puraha purusha avishat this purusha avishat means he became this what he became or created what jiva out of himself as do it is all as do 
सो दिस इज द अनुप्रवेश श्रुति इत्यादो इत्यादि श्रुतो दर्शनात व्हाट डू यू सी यू सी दिस निर्गुण ब्रह्म एज दो टुक दी सविशेष भाव विद द उपाधि ऑल दीस आर उपाधि द्विपद उपाधि चतुष्पद उपाधि पक्षी इज आल्सो व्हाट इन द उपाधि ही हैज बिकम दिस लिंग शरीरवान has linga sharira sukshma sharira sharirawan means had has taken this sharira one who has that sharira that kind of a jeeva he became and that is this purusha avishat purusha is parmatma this parmatma himself became jeeva ityadi shruto darshanat atah nirvishesham eva chaitanya ekarasam brahma iti siddham that also proves what it proves that having entered he has become jeeva as though why as though again this pratibimba as explained in the earlier sutra and vritti pratibimba does not carry the upadhi dharmas at all let alone the nirguna which is having pratibimba nirguna nirvishesha brahma so the atma which is not really having a pratibimba association at all and this pratibimba itself does not have any association with the upadhi dharmas where is the possibility of nirguna becoming savishesha nirvishesha becoming savishesha nir saguna atah nirvishesham eva chaitanya ekarasam brahma iti siddham this brahma is homogeneous indivisible undivided entity and it is pure consciousness nothing else chaitanya ekarasam brahma iti siddham it cannot take any vishesha or gunas at all it has never taken it has it is not With these gunas now, and it can never be with gunas or visheshas. It is siddham that covers the adhikarana. The next adhikarana is introduced. Prakrta yeta vatva adhikarana. In the vritti as purvam nisheda shruti bhi brahma nirvishesham siddhyati iti uktam ayuktam. What has been stated by the siddhanti as what brahma is nirvishesha. What is the hetu used by? पूर्व पक्षी सिद्धांति वॉट इज दी रीजनिंग यूज बाय दी सिद्धांति ही सेट दैट दी श्रुति इज यर शब्द प्रमाण इज देर निषेध श्रुति भी थ्रू दी निषेध श्रुति नीति नीति इत्यादि श्रुति इज वॉट हैज बीन शोन एज ब्रह्म इज निर्विशेष दैट इज इन करेक्ट सिद्धती उक्त इट एस्टाब्लिशेस ब्रह्म एज निर्विशेष दैट इज नॉट राइट these shrutis not it these shrutis nisheda shrutis establish brahma has nirvishesha as claimed by the puro uh, siddhanti that is not right says the puro pakshi siddhati iti uktam by whom by siddhanti that is ayuktam says the puro pakshi tabihi brahmano api nishiddhatva iti akshepa sangatya idamaha he says that nisheda shrutis are negating how will that make brahma nirvishesha because brahma will also get negated na iti na iti is not negating only gunas of brahma and thereby you say savishesh or saguna is becoming nirguna but it is negating brahma also na iti na iti nasti brahma api nasti that is what the puro pakshi says is the meaning of neti neti ityadi nisheda shrutis so tabhi nisheda shruti bhi through those nisheda shrutis which are negating every dharma they are not negating only dharmas they are also negating brahma so brahmana api nishiddhatva brahma also is negated so this is what this is the thinking of the shunyavadi or somebody who agrees with this shunyavadi iti akshepa sangatya idamah thereby there is an akshepa made and to that to that effect the adhikarana prakruta etavatva adhikarana comes up prakruta means in the context there what has been said etavat what has been stated are these dharmas there brahma is not included we are looking at savishesha the context is of savisheshatva of brahma not brahma itself but savisheshatva of brahma visheshas are being discussed gunas are being discussed they are the context so when you negate something in the context then only visheshas will get negated brahma is not pradhana there brahma is not part of that context at all what gunas brahma have there we talk about the gunas not the guni when you are discussing the gunas we are not talking the uh, talking about guni at all we are discussing only the gunas so when something is negated these gunas are negated not the guni 
how will you negate the guni you can say guna gunas being there there was a guni he was called as a guni why which matupante ini pratya gunaha asya asti or santi gunaha in plural gunaha asya santi iti sagunaha or you can say guni now gunas have been negated then you cannot call it as a guni or a saguna or savishesha you have to call that brahma as what nirvishesha nirguna or aguni does not have any gunas so that that much you can say you cannot say that the guni himself is negated the guni name goes away because gunas are no longer there but the guni by swarupa cannot go away you cannot negate because the one who is negating cannot be negated at all otherwise negation won't be possible even people use the example of the uh, to burn the chita finally to uh, the uh, the uh, antyeshti when the the dead body is burnt during the cremation the wood that is used to burn that piece of wood to light the pyre that is also thrown in the same fire but the one who is lighting up the pyre is separate that person will not go away that person will be there who is giving this uh, chita agni that that will be there that person will be there so the wood that is used to light up the pyre that is a means so when the negation of the gunas is being done that is a means the one who is doing the negation cannot go away by swarupa that brahma and jiva are non different they are not different from each other so one who is negating the characteristics of brahma is negating his own characteristics he cannot negate himself after all negation that he part of pullinga will also go away he will negate the gender also so he may not remain as something that can be called as he because of gender lacking but swarupa sachidananda cannot be negated at all he will remain as avashesha purna purna avashishyate you you take away purna from purna purna remains that is the purnatva so that is uh, what this adhikarana is all about the sutra there is prakrutaitavatvam hi pratishedati tato braviti cha bhuyah प्रकृतवत्म हि प्रतिषेदती तथो ब्रवीती च भूय स प्रकृतवत्व इज अ सिंगल वर्ड हि प्रतिषेदती तत ब्रवीती च भूय ओनली दिस् तत विसर्ग सन्धि इज स प्रकृत एतावत्व प्रकृत इन दि कॉन्टेक्स्ट वॉट हेज गॉन बाय एतावत्व ओनली दिस् मच ओनली दिस् मच he pratishedati what has gone by is only this much the gunas have gone by visheshas have gone by in the vakyas in the shruti where neti neti is going to come up now so so far what has gone up gone by what has gone by in the shruti etavatvam he pratishedati only that much is being negated not the brahma itself brahma is not being negated at all there na prati pratishedati tataha hi yasmat since this shruti negates pratishedati only prakruta etavatvam what has gone by in the context there yat prakrutam etavatvam prakrutam brahmana dve rupe itya iti na rupam so what is the rupa there what is what is the context in which uh, neti neti is going to come up there or nisheda vakyas are coming up brahmana dve rupe brahma has two rupas manifest and unmanifest both manifest and unmanifest forms of brahma are being negated dweva va brahmano rupe murte cha murte cha eva amurte cha so murta and amurta manifest and unmanifest forms of brahma are being negated that is the context there mean they are being presented and then the nisheda shruti comes up nisheda vakyas come up so what is going to be negated when you say brahma has two forms then you say it is not this it is not that also when two forms are say are stated as what murta and amurta and then you say 
न इति न इति मीनिंग इट इज नॉट मूर्त इट इज नॉट अमूर्त हाउ विल ब्रह्म गेट निगेटेड बाय दैट स्टेटमेंट ऑफ नीति नीति ब्रह्म विल नॉट गेट निगेटेड एट ऑल बिकॉज षष्टि संबंध इज शोन ब्रह्मण द्वे रूपे ब्रह्म हेज टू रूप विच आर स्पेसिफिकली एक्सप्रेस्ड एज मूर्त एंड अमूर्त सो वेन यू से इट इज नीदर दिस नॉर दैट हाउ विल ब्रह्म गेट निगेटेड ओनली रूप विल गेट निगेटेड सो दैट इज प्रकृत एतावत्व ही यस्मात् कारणात् प्रतिषेधति श्रुति ही ततः ब्रह्म तथा तस्मात् कारण देर फोर वॉट ब्रह्म ब्रवीति च भूय अगेन एंड अगेन नॉट तथा तस्मात् कारणात् बट तस्मात् तस्मात् देर नॉट देर फोर बट देर आफ्टर वॉट ब्रह्म ब्रह्म इज टॉक्ड अबाउट भूय अगेन सेपरेटेड पुनः अगेन दिस ब्रह्म इज डिस्कस देर आफ्टर निगेटिंग दि Rupas which are stated in the context as what two rupas are there, murta and amurta, they have been expressed initially. Then nisheda shruti, not this, not this. Means savishesha. Brahma has been said that savishesha as murta and amurta. Then neither murta nor amurta. Thereby what rupas, two rupas have been negated, having negated all sorts of opposing pairs, opposing dharmas. Finally, nirvishesha is what you have landed on. Shruti explained that Brahma does not have either murta rupa or amurta rupa manifest or unmanifest form, meaning it is formless. That nama rahita, rupa rahita, sparsha ityadi rahita, sarva vishesha guna rahita Brahma is what Shruti lands us on. Having landed us on nirguna Brahma, nirvishesha Brahma, it talks further of nirvishesha Brahma. Thereby, you cannot claim that Brahma is negated. Says so the Siddhanti. That is the Sutra Artha. We'll look at the Vritti in the next part. Amna yanti ke samsiddham adi madhyanta varjita manand ghana mahapurna matme jyoti rupasme he. Namaste. Namaste, Pramodi. Thank you.